Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is dedicated to Spanx bestsellers. These are not only some of my top 10 personal favorites, but I went through my analytics from the year and pulled out what your top favorites were from the year as well. So we'll be rounding out the top 10. I'll be styling everything multiple ways and you can shop the video via the links in the description box down below. Thank you to Spanx for partnering with me for today's video and let's get started. Before we start on the top 10, I did want to let you know I have a Spanx promo code. So use code Amanda John X Spanx for 10% off anything full price on the site. And you also get free shipping and free returns. So again, that's Amanda John X Spanx. And I'll also type that out in the description box below. Starting off with number 10, this is the ankle skinny jean in white. And I shared these around the spring season, I believe. And a lot of people just save their white for spring and summer, but I am personally a fan all year long. I love my light and airy neutrals, and I wear these typically more than blue jeans. I just love how it looks so much lighter, and it even works great in the fall and winter. Just pair it with your sweaters and knee-high boots for a lighter and airier look. So I am wearing a medium in these skinny jeans and these are my go-to white jeans. They are not see-through. I love that they don't have a pocket. That's one of my pet peeves if the pocket is coming through on white jeans. These have a pull-on waistband design. They have that Spanx like magic waistband where it just slims you. I am wearing a medium. I am in between sizes. My waist measures a small at Spanx but my booty measures the medium. So if you're in between, I would recommend to generally go up in nearly everything. So I wear a medium in almost everything at Spanx and they fit perfect. And especially with white jeans, I personally, if you're in between sizes, definitely recommend to size up because I feel like they're more flattering. I'm so glad that Spanx made these this year because these are by far the best white jean that I have tried. Top seller number nine is the Spanx understatements thong. Anytime a friend texts me looking for a recommendation for a new underwear, I always recommend this pair. It's something that I personally wear every single day. I never have to worry about them showing. They're seamless. I typically get the nude 2.0 color, but they come in a ton of different colors, great skin tone colors, but also some fun prints as well. The main reason I love this song is because it's just so comfortable. I typically never have to worry about it showing, especially if you get a skin tone color that matches your skin tone. I was, I'm actually wearing one right now under the white jeans and of course you cannot see them. I was reading through the online reviews as well and a ton of people mentioned that they love this underwear for workouts. So if you're looking for something that's comfortable to wear under leggings for bar class and workouts, a lot of people have recommended this for that. I have both small and medium in this underwear and I think both are fine. I would say I typically reach for a smaller, more fitted pair if I'm wearing something that's fitted and maybe lighter in color. So if I'm wearing like a fitted white sweater dress, I typically like to get or reach for my size small just because I feel like it's a little bit smoother and doesn't bunch up as much. But the medium I would say is just ultra comfortable. Like I don't even feel that it's there. So it's a really comfortable thong to wear all day long. So the understatements thong is my personal like everyday one, but I do have a newer underwear style that I wanted to share for those of you looking for something with the Spanx Magic Shapewear. This is a kind of like an everyday thong that has built-in shapewear as well. And I just wanted to mention this, this is something newer to my wardrobe and I don't wear these every single day, but under certain pieces that calls for a little bit of smoothing through the lower tummy area, this is a great piece to add to your Spanx wardrobe. And it's also a good option too, if you don't wanna wear full on shapewear and you wanna do the little tucking hack that I have shared time and time again, where I like to tuck in my sweaters and tops into shapewear like this to keep it secure, especially if I'm wearing skirts. Top seller number eight is the Perfect Black Pant. This is the high rise flare. And I am loving flares this year. They are so figure flattering. And this one has the perfect little flare that starts right at the knee. These fit fabulously. They do have a little front seam here, which I'm not sure if the camera's showing, but I just love that detail. I feel like it just looks more put together. So because I'm in between sizes, I did want to do a little bit of a size comparison 
for those of you who are also in between sizes. So this is a size small. I feel like they look and fit great. They're definitely more like slimming through here. Um, I would just probably pair it with a flowier top on top. If I was to wear this with like a fitted bodysuit, I feel like you could see my little roll, roll right here because they are much tighter through the waist. But because they're stretchy, I feel like I could do a small or a medium. So for the perfect black pant, I feel like I could go either way depending on how I want them to look and fit. But I feel like overall, the medium does fit my waist a little bit better. If you work somewhere with a dressier work wardrobe, I would say to get this style, I feel like this is probably the dressiest option out of the perfect black pant line. Um, I feel like in general, a flared pant like this does seem to look more professional than a skinny pant. I also think the front seam detail dresses them up as well. Um, so I feel like this is definitely the dressiest pant option out of the entire collection if you do work in a more like corporate environment. So with the pants, I paired it with the Spanx silk top. I'm wearing a size small and this fits very true to size. Comes in four colors. I love this like army green color. And this top is has like a double paneling right here. I feel like it's not as noticeable in this olive color. Maybe in the white, you could see that like thicker panel a little bit more. But I personally don't really even notice it on this color. And that makes it to where it's not sheer because a lot of times silk blouses tend to be a little more sheer. So this one you do not have to worry about layering underneath. In comparison to the flare that I just shared, this is the slim straight version. I just wanted to quickly share and review these. This is a newer style to my wardrobe, so I'm excited to style these. Um, I typically always style the back seam, like ankle skinny version. That has been my go-to since 2019. So I'm excited to mix up my work pant styling for y'all. Um, so this pant is meant to be an ankle length. I'm 5'5". I feel like they're a tad too long for me. I typically like more of a cropped slim straight type of look because I don't want them to bunch at the bottom. So for me, I almost wonder if I could have tried the petite or I would just hem these just like an inch. So they're more like ankle length versus hitting the top of my foot. I feel like the slim straight does a good job of balancing out the leg. If you don't like a skinny version, this gives you just enough volume at the ankle to kind of balance out if you do have wider hips. So in this pant, I am wearing a size small. I've tried the medium in the past and I felt like they were a little too relaxed through the thigh area. I feel like these have a slightly more relaxed fit through the thigh and I wanted them to be a little bit closer. So I personally size down you have like skinnier thighs like I do, that is what I would recommend to do as well. And then here is that silk top untucked just so you could see the length. It does have a little more length in the back. I would say it is legging friendly. And again, I'm wearing a size small. And you can also see a little bit of the double paneling a little bit better here where it's just stitched right here through the middle. That was less noticeable when it was tucked in. Bestseller number seven is the Encore High Waist Shapewear. And I wanted to do a quick little chat on picking the right shapewear. I shared this over on Instagram stories, but I'm assuming a lot of you might've missed that here on YouTube. So I wanted to share how to pick the right shapewear for what you're looking for. So on the Spanx website, they have, I think three different levels of how they rate their shapewear. So level one would be more like everyday lighter compression and level three would be more sculpting and the most firm type of hug feel for shapewear. And the Encore version is level three. So I wanted to explain kind of what that meant and what I wear these for. So this pair will give you the most firm smoothing support. So if you're wearing something very form fitting, this will be your best friend. This is like a red carpet secret. And for example, I'm wearing this white sweater dress. So I'm gonna show you the before and after here in a minute when I put these on. And the reason I specifically like this pair because I have a couple different pairs of shapewear and I reach for them for different reasons. So that's what I wanted to talk through. So this pair in particular, you can see is 
very high waisted. And I think that's the most figure flattering, especially for form fitting pieces. Unless you have very little hips, um, I would recommend to get something high waisted. So this one actually comes up under my bust and a lot of times I actually tuck it under my bra and that's going to give you such a smooth fit through here. If I was to wear shapewear that hit right at my waist, especially if it's more firm, a lot of times what will happen is it could dig in like this and kind of just show a little bit more of like a waist pinch there and it's not as smooth. So that's why I like to wear this pair because it comes up high enough that it's just going to be really smooth through the hips. I also wanted to share a quick tip if you are finding your shapewear kind of rolling down. That can be a common problem if you don't put them on correctly. Um, if I don't pull it up, you know, as high as they go and make sure that the top band is flat, then what can happen over time is it could kind of roll down and then it becomes very uncomfortable. You, this is not the way to wear shapewear. Um, so anytime that happens, I will go to the restroom and fix it if I need to and just make sure that it's smooth all the way around, even in the back, and that will prevent it from rolling down. So because this shapewear is really high rise, it's too high for me to do the little skirt tucking hack because you need shapewear that would hit wherever your waist pants do. So when I wanna do that little hack, I do not reach for these, but these are my go-to when I want something really smooth. So let me show you the before and after with this dress. All right, so here is a very form-fitting white sweater dress. And for the color, this dress is very figure flattering. The material is a little bit thicker and it actually provides some compression, but we can take this look to a 10 by adding the shapewear. Um, for me, I have actually a very large belly button, so you can kind of see it's just creating like this large hole in the center because that's where my belly button sits. So I want to show you the after once I apply the shapewear. I also want to mention typically when I wear the Encore shapewear, I do not wear underwear um, because it's very compressive. So I will say I remember the first time I tried to put it on, it was very tight. I had to like do the spank shimmy into it. It took it took some work to get in there. Um, but after that, I felt like they kind of weren't as compressive almost like through the hips. They're easier to put off and on. So that's something I just wanted to mention, but because they are very tight, it's really easy for your underwear to kind of roll as you're putting it up. So I personally do not wear any sort of underwear underneath that pair of Spanx. Okay, I got them on and here is the after and you can just instantly see the difference. It is so much smoother through the tummy and I love that you just don't see that indention from my belly button. So that is why I love the magic of my Spanx. So I'm not wearing underwear underneath and it just takes the look to a 10. Honestly, I just feel way more confident as well and that's always gonna show through with your outfits. If you feel more confident, you look more confident and everyone else will be able to tell. All right, bestseller number six for 2022 is the Air Essentials set. And I just checked and all the colors are sold out except for this color. And this is actually my personal favorite color, but I know y'all are not surprised by that because I love all the neutrals, all the beige things. Um, but this is a set that I have personally been living in this season. It is like air, it's, it's cloud-like. Um, it's not like a sweatshirt material, so it's definitely not like stuffy. You could wear this all day and be super comfortable. So in the zip, I am wearing a size medium. I typically like a little more room with my cozy kind of loungewear like this. And I would say it does have a relaxed fit and it is nursing friendly too. The zipper comes down long enough and the material is stretchy. So this would be such a great set if you're gonna be postpartum you will just want to live in this. For the pants, they do run bigger and online reviews also agree with that. I size down to a small and they do have a relaxed fit through the leg. So comfy. This is a great set to wear around the house, but I would totally wear this out of the house as well. I almost wore it to the airport when I was traveling recently, but I decided to save some room in my suitcase and wear like some boots and my jacket. So <laughs> it would be a great set for travel as well, especially for the holidays if you'll be traveling, and it would be a great gift too. 
Top seller number five from Spanx is the Bralaluya bras. Now the top seller is the full coverage bra because this is the one that I have worn most of the year. I discovered these in January and I have not stopped wearing it ever since. I cannot recommend this bra enough if you want something that's still very comfortable. This is like a bralette hybrid. So it has a stretchy band and the back is just like the Bralaluya bralettes where it's just so comfortable. You don't have to worry about like connecting the wires back there or any like bulges under your shirt. I love the front clasp. That was honestly a game changer for me because it's so much easier. I will never go back to like the back clasp again. This bra does have a wire, but I promise you it is not uncomfortable. I've actually slept in this on more than one occasion on accident thinking that I was wearing a bralette going to bed. Um, so if you want a full coverage bra, then I would go for the full coverage option. This is just gonna give you more coverage, less cleavage. So that would be the one that I've worn most and that one has been the top seller for 2022. But the one that I have started to wear the past month is the Demi Lift version. So I wanted to do a side by side, -by -side comparison. Now keep in mind, this is a C cup, which is what I used to be when I was breastfeeding. Now I am back to my regular B cup. So that is a little bit of a difference here, but you can see overall the Demi Lift is gonna have less coverage in the front. So it's going to give you a lot more cleavage to work with and a lot more lift as well. So if you want that option, I would get the Demi Lift. You could not go wrong though. They are both extremely comfortable. This has the same design as the full coverage and I just love these. Cannot recommend them enough. Top seller number four from Spanx is this flare jean in the midnight wash. Y'all went crazy for these jeans during November and I had so much fun styling them. They are so figure flattering. By far the most flattering jeans in my wardrobe. I love the flare. I paired it with a booty here. You could do a heel. They are meant to be worn with some sort of footwear with a heel, but if you don't want to do a heel, just keep that in mind and maybe size down in the length. I am wearing the regular length and it's perfect on my 5'5 frame. And I'm also wearing my regular size medium as well. Um, they're so comfortable, but they still have that amazing slimming effect. And I love that they have the belt loops, so you could pair it with a belt if you want to tuck your pants or your shirt in. And I love that these jeans, even though they are just a pull-on design, you can wear them with tops tucked in or tucked out, and they look great both ways. They do have belt loops, so you could add a belt if you want to. Here I tucked in the, this is a white bodysuit from Spanx. This is such a pure, crisp white. I love it. And I also really like this neckline as well. It's a turtleneck, but it's not tight on the neck. It just sits perfectly. And these are my favorite base layers for the winter season. I would say if you don't have a great fitting, like layering turtleneck, definitely add one to your winter wardrobe because you could layer them under dresses if you wanna extend like some of your favorite dresses in your wardrobe. Just add this underneath and it will look seasonally appropriate. They're also great just for that extra warmth too. I took one of these to New York just in case I needed to layer under my sweater. Turns out it was not cold enough to do that, but that is a great way to stay warm this winter, especially if it's a nice like thicker material like this one. This bodysuit also comes in black as well. And I wanted to share a quick tip with the turtlenecks as well, especially if you're wearing something white and you don't want to get makeup all over it. This is my little tip. So one way to put them on without getting makeup over them is you could put like a little silk scarf over your face and that way when you pull it over it will protect your top from makeup. I however don't just have those on demand at all times or I just you know I'm just getting ready really quickly and I don't want to like go grab a silk scarf. Not to mention you are getting makeup on the silk scarf. So keep that in mind if you're doing it with something really nice. But what I personally do, and it saves so much time and it's just as effective, is I actually pull my hair in front of my face like this. And then I just slip the turtleneck over. And it works like a charm every time. Your hair is going to get like messy anyway because this is form-fitting. So you can just kind of brush it out afterwards. And that will protect your shirts from getting makeup over it. And it's very quick and very effective. So I just wanted to share that little hack. It's great for winter time. If you want the jeans to be a little more casual or if you don't want to wear like something fitted top and bottom, I draped over 
a little cardigan over top. This bodysuit went on so easily underneath because it fits so nicely in the sleeve. It never even bunched up. So loving this bodysuit. I think I'm going to wear it a ton this upcoming season. So I feel like this wash in particular is really versatile. It's easy to dress up or down. You could even make them work for date night. They're just so flattering. Top seller number three from Spanx this year is the perfect black pant and the ankle skinny pant. This is no surprise to me. Honestly, the top three sellers are the pieces that I get the best cost per wear out of. So I style them constantly and share them constantly with y'all. So I'm not surprised that they are in the top three. So these pants are what started my love for the perfect black work pants. These were my most reached for work pant. I wore them multiple times a week as a physical therapist and I honestly recommended them to all of my colleagues. I was like, you need to feel these. So comfortable, they don't restrict you. They are great if you are a physical therapist um, because they're just comfortable and you can move in them all day. So I love the skinny version. They have a little slit at the ankle, which I feel like dresses them up a little bit. I am wearing a size medium. And what I love about this fit in general is it's so versatile because it's not just like a black work pant. You could also totally wear these as a black legging as well. If you're looking for something a little bit dressier or a little nicer, you could totally substitute your black leggings for these. And it's more of like a ponty, is that how you say that word? I don't know, um, style legging. So I feel like you could dress them up or down for that reason. I get such a good cost per wear out of these. So if you need a good black work pant, I cannot recommend these enough. Okay, here is an example of how you could wear them more casually as leggings. So I just threw on this little casual puffer coat and tuck them right into boots and they honestly just look like a, I don't know if I'm saying that right, y'all will correct me in the comments, but like a ponty legging material. Um, they're thicker, they just look more put together. They'd be great if you travel a lot for work as well. So don't just think that these are only for work. I think they can work both casually or a little bit more like a business casual setting. And here is the exact same pant styled for work. And if you're looking for more ways to style these, this is basically like my go-to work pant for any sort of office look. So I would just search perfect black pant in the LTK app and it will pull up a ton of different outfit ideas. Um, but yeah, here it is styled with a casual kind of sweater blazer and some flats. So don't overthink these pants because I think they could also just work super casually as a legging as well. Top seller number two in 2022 is the Booty Boost leggings and these are by far my favorite legging. They are the world's most flattering legging. I have tried these compared to so many other popular brands and none of them compare to the fit and how flattering these are. They smooth you through your stomach area. They even smooth the thigh area in comparison. They feel like secure and compressive, but they aren't tight whatsoever. And I love that they keep coming out with new colors in these because I personally cannot get enough. This is like a really deep kind of plummy color and I think it pairs really nicely with the lunar top. But I love these for working out. Um, I wear them on our walks. I wear them around the house. I loved them during postpartum because they just made me feel like myself and gave me way more confidence during that phase because of how flattering they are. So I cannot recommend these enough. I know a lot of y'all will probably have like New Year's resolutions coming up and getting back to the gym and I would 100% treat yourself to one of these to get back into a good healthy routine or if you're already in one, you cannot go wrong with these. All right, the number one bestseller from Spanx this year and honestly, probably year after year, are the faux leather leggings. I don't think you can go wrong with any of the pieces in this list, but especially the faux leather leggings. You can just style them so many ways. So they're essentially just, they could swap out any black legging in your wardrobe and they're gonna look more put together because they have that faux leather sheen. So it just looks more intentional versus athleisure, if that makes sense. So this is by far the most common way that I wear my leather leggings just really casually. I love to wear oversized sweaters like this, leggings and boots. This is my go-to. It was even my go-to during pregnancy. I just, I've worn this type of outfit for years. I feel comfortable. I feel confident. 
So this is my most common way to wear the leggings, but don't overthink them because they can be dressed up or down. Sorry if you heard that scream. My daughter needed some mommy attention, so she's all good now. Um, I don't even remember what I was saying, but yeah, you cannot go wrong with these. And again, this is a piece that I have styled so many ways in the LTK app here on my YouTube channel and over on my blog. I actually have a dedicated blog post with all of my favorite outfits styling these. So I will link that down below if you're looking for outfit ideas. But again, just don't overthink it because they're just the same as a black legging, but they look so much more elevated. Okay, here is a cute casual little winter outfit with the faux leather leggings and I styled it here with this cute little kind of quilted Sherpa mix coat that I love. It runs roomy, I'm wearing a size small. Kept on that same white bodysuit long sleeve, just tucked it in, or it's obviously a bodysuit, so it's tucked in and then paired it with a kind of chunkier winter boot. All right, I wanted to show you a really good look at the fit of these. So I'm gonna do a size comparison as well. So what I have on currently is the size large and they still look and fit great. Um, they're not as compressive through the midsection, but otherwise they fit the exact same through the leg. Oh, I also wanted to give you a little tip too. If you find that your leggings are bunching at the ankles, all you need to do is pull the legging like this once you put them on and it just disperses the material. So yeah, here is how the large legging fits. I mean, you can see it's, it still has a really nice close fit, but I'll show you the medium in comparison. So this is the size medium and this is the size that I typically wear. And honestly, there's not a super significant difference that I can feel. I've also had this pair for a couple years as well, so that could also be why as well, but I feel like they look very similar and they do feel a little more supportive. So I just wanted to show you there's not like a huge significant difference sizing wise. Um, it's really all just personal preference. So those are not only my top 10, but also the top 10 bestsellers of 2022, but I want to hear what your Number one top favorite is from Spanx. What do you get the most wear out of? Or what's your favorite thing? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget you can use code AmandaJohnXSpanx for 10% off everything full price site-wide on the site. You also get free shipping and free returns. So let me know what you pick up. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Spanx for sponsoring today's video. I will see y'all on Thursday with a new video. Bye.